Well, it started with a dad telling his daughter a bedtime story. And now Princess Ella has come to life through the pages of two storybooks and a coloring book. The first is Princess Ella and the Great Squirrel Chase. The second is Princess Ella and the Missing Kittens. We have the real life inspiration for Princess Ella with us today, along with her dad, Ken Waldecker. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see you both. This is awesome. Well, Ella, what's it like having a, a couple of books written after you? Um, well, I really, really like them, and it's just like, it's great to have like a dad that can write books. Yeah, I <laughs> bet it is great to have a dad that can write books. These came from bedtime stories. Tell me about that. They did. Uh, every night uh, we would go on different adventures as Princess Ella, and each night would be a different adventure. And after a little time, my wife said, you guys need to write these down. And so we have hundreds of them that we've gone through. And so I went ahead and figured out how to self-publish things and mm -hmm. started a publishing company and found our illustrator. And uh, it's now on to th book, th book number three. Book number three, mm -hmm. and uh, it's in the works being illustrated now. And I know there's a book number four already written. And the sky is the limit mm -hmm. because you're using your imagination along with your daughters. Yep, it's, it's been great being able to write these with her and she, she gives me ideas. She talks with the illustrator to say, oh no, this doesn't look right. Um, we try to hide little details in the book, like she loves axolotls and they're kind of <laughs> hidden throughout the second book that she loves. Mm -hmm. they, even the it's squirrel the from the first book is hidden throughout the second book. Oh, so we so try cool. to continue out through each book. <gasps> that is so cool. Mm -hmm. I love that. You can have, you know, that would be something people online will look for and say, oh, did you know? <laughs> did you see? Um, you also won a Mom's Choice Award. Tell me about that. Yeah, um, uh, back when I first uh, wrote the book, uh, you have to do a whole bunch of different things, setting it for reviews, and we submit it to a diff couple different companies. And the Mom's Choice Award, they look at all different types of children's books and they pick a select few that say these are the best stories that we've seen this year and they give out a gold and then a silver award and we won the gold award. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. That had to you know, kind of boost your, your writing. Yeah, it, 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 <laughs> I said, oh, this is actually pretty good. Then let me go ahead and start the second book. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. So take us through a little bit of one of the adventures, like in, in, in a nutshell. Okay. Well, in the first book, so Princess Ella had just received a uh, sucker from her dad and the dad, the king, and he, she went out to swing on her swing, and she lost the sucker oh, high yeah. up into the tree. She had no Ooh. idea what she's going to do. And she sees a nice little squirrel, and she asks the squirrel, Mr. Squirrel, can you help me get my sucker And He looks up out there, and he goes, and he's looking, and he goes, yeah, I'll do it. And he heads up there, and the first thing you know, he's not giving that back. And <laughs> the rest of the book is her chasing him around, trying to figure out how am I going to get that sucker back. That is awesome. Yeah. Now, I understand you have a book signing coming up. We do. Uh, the City of High Point Public Library, uh, May, the week of May 6th is National Children's Book, book right. Week. And at the end of the week, they're having a children's book event where the authors, they have multiple, they're going to have multiple local authors there. And there'll be signings, and you can sell the book, buy the book, and everybody will have a reading as well. So on the 11th at 12 o'clock, we'll be doing our reading. Uh, but we will be there the whole day of 11 to 2 for the whole event. That's awesome. And you can get it both in uh, hardcover and also soccer, right? Yep, we have, them, we have them available locally here. And then we have them on people like Amazon. So we have them available on Amazon as well. That's awesome. All right, I'm going to give the folks information so you can mark your calendars because you don't want to miss this. They are such cute stories, lovely stories that would be great to read to your child or your grandchild. So go ahead and mark your calendars for Saturday, May 11th. Ken will be part of the High Point Library's National Children's Book Week celebration. He'll be there signing the books from 11 to 2, and then he and Elle, I'm sure Elle's going to be there as well, will have a book reading at noon. You can pick up copies, by the way, of his Princess Ella books in bookstores and also on Amazon and his website. It is peadventurespublishing.com. Again, peadventurespublishing.com. You'll even find some free Princess Ella coloring pages that you can download for free on there. Thank you so much for coming Thank in. You. Okay. Thank you.